Hey, good evening. You know, my day totally got away from me. Have you ever left the house thinking, I'm just going to go do this one thing and then I'm going to be back? Well, here it is, almost 11 o'clock at night. I don't even know what time it is, 10.30. And I just got home. Seriously, day got away from me. But it was interesting. All these little things kept happening that ended up keeping me out this late. So my thoughts on failure... Okay, so a friend of mine, Eldana, and if you go on my website, you'll be able to see her post. She wrote a very interesting post on her uh, experiences with failure recently, and uh, I just loved it. So I thought, well, I'm going to do my Facebook Live about failure. So what do you think about when you hear the word failure? Does it give you like a just a horrible feeling in your stomach? Do you, Does it give you a really super negative connotation? Um... Do you think of a time or many times that you failed in something that um, just really affected you? Well, let's see. Here's my thoughts. So first of all, I have failed more times than I even want to think about. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's I, I When I think about it, I do think of all of those things that I failed in in my life that was a disappointment. Okay. So that's pretty normal, right? But I want you to think of something else. Turn it around and think of the word success. Now, I'm sure that you're probably thinking of a time that you were successful in something. And if not, think about that. Think of something that you were successful at or in, okay? So where did that come from? When you start thinking about that success that you experienced, go back and try to figure out what little things happened up until then. I'm going to take a wild guess, and this happens so often, that you experienced some sort of failure in something that was a catalyst in helping you become successful in something else, okay? That's happened to me many, many times. Uh, I tell my story, which you can read in the book. If you go on my website, you can download my story, my, my first book that has my story of being married for 13 years and giving up my life and giving up my, my dreams and my passions and everything to manage my husband's music career. And then when that marriage ended so suddenly and unexpectedly, that was a huge failure to me. Okay. And then immediately after that was in the car accident and then I had no money in the bank. And then I, my life was just, I thought it was going to be over, right? It was huge failures, failure after failure after failure, right? Nothing was going right. But because of all of that, that's how I experienced my success. I took all of those failures, all of those things, and I said, you know what? It made me decide that I didn't want to live like that. I didn't want to experience that anymore. And all of those things were the catalyst to my successful career. Now, since then, I've had a lot of little failures. But now, when I think of the word failure, and I want you to think of the word failure, I want you to get excited. <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous. Okay, I'm not crazy, and I haven't been drinking, okay? When you think about failure, you're going through something that you consider a failure. I want you to get excited because guess what? That means something better is coming. Something better, more exciting. Uh, something that's, that's supposed to be better for you in your life is coming. Okay? It's a very exciting thing. So my lesson for today is this. If you're experiencing some kind of failure or if you did or you will, believe me, everybody does. I want you to get excited because that is going to, my cat is running back and forth there. Uh, that is actually going to be the catalyst to something successful. So turn your mind around, get out of that negative energy, get out of the pity party, uh, and um, start thinking about success and what's going to happen because of all those failures. So I know I kind of went on and on and on, but I just wanted to bring that up today. Please read my friend Eldonis posts. One of the things she says in there that I just love and we're actually going to do um, is it's okay to go through a little pity party. You know, when I'm going through something and things aren't going right, believe me, I have plenty of pity parties, especially this past year with some pretty crappy thing that happened to me. But you know what? It's okay. You can have a pity party. You can even get your friends. One of the things she says in her post is, Get a bunch of your friends together and have a pity party, like literally have a pity party and wine and, you know, talk about whatever you want to talk about for that night. And then when it's over, it's over. Be done and move on and go on to something bigger and better. So that is my tip of the day. I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you very soon. I have to talk to you tomorrow. 
and I'll try to do my video earlier. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.